as we should. Adam Smith famously said the whole purpose of economic growth is consumption. But if you read on the next paragraph, he says, and the trouble with that is that because Britain is a corrupt country, various bad people have captured government and therefore have got various deals for themselves, and therefore uh, the consumption of the ordinary folk is destroyed by rich people taking money, the old corruption. That's why he said that. But you are absolutely right. The purpose of trade and economic activity is production, out of which then wealth flows, which is why Smith and the Williamson uh, Washington Convention consensus said is the most ideal trade arrangements are honest mercantile. And it's only when you can't trust your politicians to be honest that you have to revert to... I can see how we are all better off if we have cheaper apples. How are we all better off because we're selling more jumpers to someone, right? We, we've just got to start thinking about what we actually mean by the advantages of trade and stop fretting about these deficits. There's no correlation between trade deficits and growth. I, I live in a little village on the Hampshire, Berkshire borders. I have massive trade deficits with most of the pubs around me. Really big deficit with the Crown in Kingsclear, you know, with the Royal Oak in Overton, with the 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 the, the, uh, the White Hart, you know, the the, the, the warship down. Sometimes, do you know what they do? Sometimes they engage in dumping. Sometimes they offer me stuff at below production cost, like when they say free glass of wine with your meal on a Monday. Well, who gets the better end of that deal, right? Why on earth is it a problem to be importing stuff? 